Good morning, everyone. Uh, nice to see you all here and uh, for this momentous occasion. Um, my name is Eric Moore. I serve as the uh, chair of the university's board of governors. And um, I also chaired the, uh, the Chancellor Search Committee, uh, which was an outstanding and hardworking uh, group of individuals who are very dedicated to this university. So a uh, profound and uh, heartfelt thanks to, to my colleagues who, who served in the committee and uh, who, uh, who made such an uh, informed and, and wise choice, as you will see uh, in a moment. Um, I would also like to begin this morning's proceedings by welcoming a number of uh, special guests. Please hold your applause until they have all been introduced. It's my pleasure to uh, welcome Linda Farmer, Chancellor Murray Farmer's uh, spouse. Welcome, Linda. President Jamie Castles. Uh, members of the Board of Governors, uh, Ida Chong. Uh, Susan Mahinigage, my direct predecessor. Delighted that you could make it. Dale Henley, the President of the Alumni Association. Uh, Chancellor Emeritus Norma Mickelson, Norma, <laughs> Chancellor Emeritus Ron Lupoy and his wife May Lupoy, welcome, and uh, Presidents uh, Emeriti David Strong and David Turpin, welcome gentlemen. The role of Chancellor is a special one, one could even say a revered one. The University Act says that, that the Chancellor is the head of the University, he or she confers, de confers uh, degrees at convocation. He or she is a member of the board and the senate. But in reality, the chancellor is much more than that. The chancellor symbolizes a university and its values. He or she is an ambassador and a champion and a unifying force. The university has been blessed to have chancellors who excel in this role. A number of those, uh, of course, are here today. After a thorough and careful search, the university has found another superb individual to succeed Chancellor Murray Farmer when his uh, second term expires this December. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that the Board of Governors of the University of Victoria has appointed <laughs> Sheila Rogers as the next Chancellor of the University of Victoria. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my profound pleasure to present the Chancellor Designate. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Well, good morning. It's, uh, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you for coming. Uh, I first of all would like to acknowledge the traditional territory that UVic is upon, the Coast Salish territory, and thank the Coast Salish people for their continued welcome and stewardship of this land. Uh, President Castles, Chairman Moore, former chancellors, Mrs. Farmer, here representing Murray Farmer, the current cha uh, chancellor, Mr. Henley, faculty, staff, and distinguished guests, and students and friends. First, let me say what a great honor this is to speak in a very non-chancellorial way. Uh, I'm thrilled out of my being. Um, this, is, this is an enormous honor, and I, I thank you for, for making me the chancellor designate. I'm, I'm looking forward to serving you, Vic, in whatever way I can. Uh, I want to thank the people who worked to put this particular appointment together and the people who had to check me out. And uh, I checked you out too, I, I want you to know. Uh, I feel in the last little while like I was dating you, Vic. And last week we got as far as lunch, but we stopped at dinner. And, uh, so I'm very pleased to now be in a relationship with you. I, I understand too that my nominators are in this room and I send out a special thanks to them as well. I promise that in this relationship, I will be supportive of you, I will honor you, and I will be there with a full heart to fulfill the role of chancellor. One of my dearest friends was the late Lois Hole, who was an author, 
she was a gardener before she was an author, but it was as an author that I met her. And she was the former Lieutenant Governor of Alberta. But before she had that role, she was the Chancellor of the University of Alberta. And she said of all the positions that she held, that was the one that fed her the most. She loved being in the company of students. It was mass massively stimulating for her, and she became known as the Queen of Hugs. She hugged everybody. And uh, I understand that stimulating feeling, being here on campus uh, after many years of not being on campus, although pursuing lifelong learning through the CBC. Uh, it's wonderful to be on campus again, and I appreciate the values that UVic holds, in particular civic engagement, and I was very fortunate to be there for the first day of the QVic conference, and it started off so beautifully, Leslie. And then uh, I also really, really value the Indigenous focus. This is a very powerful thing for, for me, for the healing of Canada, I believe. And as you may know, I'm an honorary witness to the work of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Witnessing is a very, very important thing. I really believe this is what a chancellor does, as the chancellor witnesses one of the most important days in the life of a student. That crossroad day, that benchmark day where you turn the corner into your new life and work to build a better country. I've had the honor of hosting a number of events here at the University of Victoria. I've loved all the time that I have spent here. I think back to one in particular where I was welcoming Richard Wagamese, the Ojibwe writer, to the campus. He'd won a Southern Fellowship, and I'd forgotten my skirt. So I hosted it wrapped in a blanket. And uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the robes that come with the Chancellor <laughs> very much. But <laughs> Thank you. And I, I think that one of the things that this university emulates and emanates is, is the circle. It's built around a circle. It radiates outward. The circle, though, is the form at the heart of UVic, and it's meaningful, both in a literal and a conceptual way. Circles of friends. I have friends here. My dear friend Lillian Jones just walked in. Um, it's... It's very important that we keep building this circle. The circle is a form. If we were sitting in a circle, there would be nobody at the back. We'd all be sitting in an equal space, an affirmative space. And the other thing I like about circles, if our lives are circles, then when I tell you my story and you tell me yours, our circles overlap, like Venn diagrams, if you remember that from, from math. So I look forward very much. I'm delighted to be part of the UVic circle. And I look forward to serving UVic in whatever way I can. Thank you for this great honor. Thank you very much, Chancellor Designate, for the first time. Thank you for, for these very inspiring comments and, uh, and very much look forward to working with you. It is now my pleasure to introduce uh, Mrs. Linda Farmer, the spouse of Chancellor Murray Farmer, who will say a few words on his behalf. Unfortunately, uh, Murray couldn't be with us today, but I'm sure that uh, Linda will represent him well. Eric, thank you. But please call me Linda. <laughs> I used to always say that Mrs. Farmer was my mother-in-law. <laughs> so to begin, Murray does uh, send his best regards to everyone here today. He would be here, except that he's half a, a world away. Um, but I'm really delighted to be here and to participate in this announcement uh, in his absence. We have been in touch, and he has asked me to deliver the following message to Sheila. So, to Sheila. Uh, he wants me to tell you, Sheila, that he's deeply sorry that he's not able to be present for the announcement of your appointment as Chancellor-Designate of the University of Victoria. A long-standing commitment with friends in Europe is keeping me away, 
but I know um, that I will be thinking of you on Thursday, and I will be sending congratulatory thoughts your way. Were I able to be with you today and speak to you directly, I would be drawn to reflect on my own nomination and subsequent appointment as Chancellor in 2009. I would share with you that I am still in awe of even being asked to serve in the capacity as UVic's Chancellor. As a student at UVic in the 1960s, I couldn't have imagined that I would someday don the Chancellor's robes and hat <laughs> and preside over convocation ceremonies rich with their traditions. Thankfully, life can be full of happy surprises. I know that when your role as Chancellor commences in 2015, you will quickly come to appreciate the richness of the experience that you will find yourself immersed in. You will be associated with an amazing university, one that you will be proud to represent. You will come to know a remarkable collection of faculty, staff, board members, alumni association representatives, and volunteers, all striving for excellence in fulfilling their roles at UVic. And you will be inspired by the students that you will have the occasion to meet as they engage in learning and living the university experience to the fullest. On becoming chancellor, you will become a member of a select group. I know when I look at the list of my predecessors, I still marvel that I can count myself among them. I was fortunate in being able to closely observe two of these amazing individuals while they served in this role, Norma Mickelson and Ron Lu Poi. And I'm gonna add the, the name of May Lu Poi today too because I know that May has been a great inspiration to both of us. You're all exemplary role models for, for both of us, but in particular for Murray, so thank you so much. Norma always has said, and I'm just going to stray from the notes for a moment, that this is the best darn job in the world, and I think that Murray concurs, and I'm sure that you will, will concur as well. So again, there is no doubt that you will come to recognize the very special nature, in fact, the magic, that is inherent in this position. I am confident that this sense of wonder will accompany you throughout your term. It will be especially prevalent during convocation ceremonies when you will be witness to the thousands of students who make their way across the stage and officially become a member of the UVic family. So it is to this family that I welcome you today. I wish you an experience rich in the memories you will make and in the relationships you will form as you add your name to the list of women and men who have served as chancellor, a position that represents one of the university's most treasured traditions. I look forward to assisting you in any way I can as you make your transition into the role and into the UVic family. Ever the best, Murray Farmer, Chancellor. Thank you very much, Linda. <laughs> It is now my pleasure to, uh, to introduce uh, our president, Jamie Castles, to say a few words. Jamie? Thanks very much, Dr. Moore. Um, <laughs> Uh, and, and thank you for, uh, to all of you for uh, being here with uh, uh, this morning on this, uh, on this great day. Uh, Linda, let, let me just begin by extending the university's heartfelt thanks to you and Murray. Uh, you've shown exemplary dedication over the, over the years. Your generosity has been, uh, has been astounding. Your engagement with the university has been so supportive. So to both you and Murray, uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, along with, with Linda, I also uh, do want to uh, recognize the outstanding contributions of uh, our two chancellors emeritus who are with us this morning, uh, Dr. Norma Mickelson and uh, Ron Lupoy and, uh, and May. Um, through their service, uh, their dedication over the years, uh, our chancellors have created a valuable and enduring tradition that truly strengthens our university. So Norma, Ron, May, thank you so much.
that, that tradition uh, is based on a passion for education uh, and a belief in the power of education to change the world. It's reflected in UVic's motto, a multitude of the wise is the health of the world, which expresses our aspiration as a university to make the world a better place. Um, and I know that the experience and the qualities that Sheila Rogers will bring to this role will only serve to strengthen that tradition even further. Sheila Rogers is a distinguished Canadian, uh, an engaged citizen, an outstanding professional, and a wonderful uh, communicator. Uh, she possesses an amazing array of talents and abilities and represents the values that align so well with our university's goals and mission. She's recognized across Canada as a communicator par excellence, um, dedicated to broadening our understanding of the world and of each other, and dedicated to the dissemination of knowledge. Uh, she's perhaps the country's best listener, and education is a lot about listening. Uh, Sheila is an enthusiastic promoter of Canadian culture and the arts uh, and has strong ties uh, to our own, uh, our own Faculty of Fine Arts in the Department of, uh, of Writing. Uh, and Sheila is an advocate for social justice, uh, a passionate champion for mental health, a reconciliation with Aboriginal peoples, uh, literacy, housing for the homeless, all of these are the kinds of values that align so wonderfully with our own institution's desire to engage with our communities and to improve the, uh, and to improve the world. Uh, Sheila's uh, life work resonates with people across the country, uh, and I join them in expressing our deep respect and admiration for her courage, her compassion, and her commitment. Sheila, you certainly possess the right stuff to be uh, UVic's next chancellor, and we are thrilled that you've accepted uh, this role. Uh, and let me say personally how much I'm looking forward to, uh, to working with you. Uh, the partnership between the chancellor and the president, who is, I am your vice chancellor, um, uh, is, is very important to the university and a special one to, uh, to me. Um, I've hugely enjoyed and benefited from uh, my own working relationships and mentorship from both Norma and, uh, and Ron uh, and Sheila. I know that you and I will develop a wonderful working relationship as, uh, as well. And even more importantly, I know that our entire community, uh, our students, our staff, our faculty, our alumni, and our broader community will welcome you warmly uh, and in turn will benefit enormously from your commitment and your passion. So as others have said on behalf of the University of Victoria, thank you for honoring us by accepting our request to you to be our next chancellor and thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Um, it is now my pleasure to invite Mr. Dale Henley, the president of the Alumni Association, to say a few words. Dale? Thank you, Eric. Chancellor Designate Rogers, allow me to say on behalf of all alumni, welcome to UVic and thanks for accepting this, this appointment and the duties it entails. Among its main purposes, the Alumni Association works closely with the university to build support for its mission and both bolster its reputation worldwide. In light of that, and as a member of the committee, the search committee for the new chancellor, I was absolutely delighted when Sheila agreed to accept her new position. With her gifts as one of Canada's foremost communicators, I know she will be an incredible ambassador for this university. I also know that the respect she has earned throughout her career and the affection that so many alumni have for her will complement the Alumni Association's efforts immensely. Sheila, the members of the Alumni Association Board of Directors are eagerly looking forward to welcoming you to your new role and working with you in the years to come. And if I can close by borrowing a quote from one of my favorite movies, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Dale. Uh, this uh, brings to a close the formal part of, uh, of, uh, this, of this event. Uh, thank you all so much for, uh, for joining us. Don't go away. Uh, I believe that one floor down there uh, are some refreshments and an opportunity to, uh, uh, to chat and, uh, and mingle a little bit. Uh, we will be joined uh, uh, down there by Sheila after she uh, uh, interacts with the media, something she's very unaccustomed to. So I'm... <laughs> Sure is very is very nervous about that. Uh, uh, a, a, a few uh, a few photographs uh, and and then we'll all be wandering down to uh, uh, to join you down downstairs. So please don't uh, don't go away. And once again, uh, Sheila, on behalf of all of us assembled here and across campus within our circle, welcome to you, Vic. Thanks.